Good evening, everybody, and uh, you're all welcome to uh, Liberty Hall for our discussion on uh, the situation in, in Colombia. My name is Jack O'Connor, and uh, uh, I have the honour of being a president of uh, Justice for Colombia here in Ireland. We, we have a number of uh, visitors from Colombia here this evening uh, to talk to us. We're going to ask uh, one of our guests, uh, uh, Nidia uh, Quintero, uh, to make a, a, a presentation on the up-to-date situation in Colombia. Nidia is a member of the uh, Fensuego Executive Committee, and Fensuego is the uh, Colombian Agricultural Workers Union. Nidia also sits on the National Committee of the uh, Patriotic March. Um, Fensuego is one of the most persecuted unions in Colombia, uh, with around 1,500 members assassinated in recent years. Um, the, the leadership faced constant death threats. Uh, Nidia's husband was assassinated by the Colombian Army on the 20th of May 2002. Uh, he was murdered by soldiers at a military checkpoint who then took his ID papers away dumped his body in an unmarked grave and reported him as a guerrilla killed in combat. His body was found eight days later. He was one of thousands of victims of the false positives phenomenon where soldiers received bonuses and promotions uh, for dead uh, guerrillas. Lydia's 19-year-old son was then kidnapped and murdered by paramilitaries on the 14th of May, 2005. He, he suffered from mental health problems and had not understood the social rules imposed by paramilitaries who decree that young men aren't allowed to use peasant boots or wear black t-shirts in regions they control, as they are viewed as clothes used by guerrillas. Uh, as a result of threats, Nidia has been forced to flee her home several times along with her surviving four children. Uh, it's an honour and a privilege uh, to introduce to you here this evening uh, the, the courageous spokesperson for Persuego and the Colombian Agricultural Workers Union, Nidia Quintero. Nidia. Good afternoon, brother and sister trade unionists of this beautiful country. Uh, thank you very much for this space. Um, I don't really like talking about my personal situation, uh, what's happened to me, but I'd just like to say that everything that has happened to me has served in order to fill me with resolve to struggle for peace and uh, social justice and for the protection of um, workers' organisations. Um, so we are here in this beautiful country in order to do two things really. One is in order to spread the news about um, the new social and political movement that we represent, the, the Patriotic March. And secondly, in order to uh, learn, we've been here in order to learn from the peace process um, that occurred here in Ireland. Para nosotros sería muy importante como marcha patriótica. For us, as the Patriotic March, it would be very important that the Minister of Foreign Affairs would support Colombian civil society's desire for peace. We are not at the moment represented at the dialogues in Cuba, but we think that it's important to have support for civil society, for civil society's desire for peace, and not the Santos government. Because it's very important that what the Juan Manuel Santos government and what he has said rhetorically actually materialize in concrete practical actions. You can't be coherent with peace while the political opposition continues to be assassinated during your government. 